My name is Adrienne Pound. I'm the author of Hydra, which was shortlisted for the 2023 Star Prize. Hydra is a fiction novel about Anya, a 30-year-old antiquarian who works at an antique auction house. She specialises in mid-century furniture. Uh, she comes back from a holiday in Greece and her life begins to unroll. And she finds herself on an isolated property, a beachside property, and there may or may not be some sort of presence there. Hydra explores mythology and storytelling, um, the people, places, landscapes, objects that we imbue with narrative in our search for meaning. And I wanted to disrupt uh, not only my characters' perceptions of their reality, um, but also my reader, if only in their idea of um, what a novel should be and what narrative structure should be. I also wanted to explore um, personal responsibility um, and let the reader decide for themselves um, where blame, if any, lies. Uh, this is particularly fun to write with an unreliable narrator. Um, look, I was just overwhelmed to be long-listed, so to be short, this is just absolutely incredible um, to have people acknowledge, judges, um, panel, in fact, to acknowledge uh, the work. Um, there's so much doubt there as a writer sometimes so it, yeah, it means everything branches turn her face and legs she leaps logs ditches but damp soil underfoot betrays her root and rising sun filtering through the tree line evaporates her cover the land is turned from her and soon she'll be spotted howling dogs a menacing pack that earlier ripped open her shoulder shred the silence of an otherwise still morning they've tasted her and not yet had their fill Ahead the wood thins to a splinter of trees, and instinct says there's no choice other than to climb. So she jumps and grips a tree trunk, splitting afresh her shoulders dog tall and wooed. Blood runs down her back, there's no time to tend to it, no time to ponder healthy flesh or any element of the once trusted universal order. Lying flat on an outstretched bough, she thinks, if I'm still, I'm invisible. If I'm invisible, I'm nothing but bark and branch and budding leaves. There is no me separate to this tree. The dogs bark, circling below, and a sting, sharp, thick, penetrates her ribcage, chipping bone. She screams, falling heavy to the ground, smacking her spine against a raised tree root. Above her, flighted jets fly west, graffiti on their bellies, and then a man is there, obscuring their sky. He tells her she's a wild one. He tells her she'll be broken.